Yeah. All right, so the uh, 46th annual Guns and Hoses football uh, game that's pitting law enforcement against firefighters. This is a huge event every yes. year, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's on its way. Mm -hmm. uh, and the players are getting ready to rumble. Yeah, the firefighters, they practice out at Folsom High School. So we sent Dan. Dan is not wearing football pads. I'm confused. <laughs> I thought this was going to be some, some kind of training. Dan. <laughs> Dan, what's going on? I don't on? need. <laughs> football pads. Um, this, uh, yeah, my kids remind me of that every day, too. This is a new era in fire dog football, we're being told. And uh, that is because they have lost the last four years to, uh, to law enforcement. And uh, with me right now is uh, Ricky Rodarte, who is the, uh, the team's quarterback, first-year quarterback. We know, just like the, the 49ers had an awful year last year, they turned it around, they're headed to the Super Bowl this year. So what are you guys going to be doing differently this year? Uh, the biggest thing is, our big thing is, like you said, this is a new era of fire dog football. So uh, last year was the first year we brought out uh, Folsom High to coach us. This will be our second year with them. And I mean, you That's look the right up there, team. you see the yep. four state banners. So yep. having that Folsom offense mm -hmm. coaching us, we're hoping to be able to obviously score more points in the law at the end of the day. Yeah, those guys have been using drones and helicopters to, to watch your moves for the last couple of years, too, haven't they? Wow. Right, absolutely. Yeah, yeah we'll yeah. say that's the that's the reason why we've we've lost four years in a row. So <laughs> luckily with Folsom High and all the fancy equipment that they get and everything, we'll, we'll be able to use our drones and all of our fancy equipment. Well, let's come on over here. We're not admitting the drones, though, are no, we? Absolutely no, absolutely not. not. Absolutely Jeremy Crawford not. has been playing for what now? A better part of a decade? Yeah, a little over 10 years. Getting a little harder each year? Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> but, but we've got the experience here as well as some of the youth out there on the field, too. Right. So, yeah, even as a player, you can do a little bit of coaching up and... Yeah, we're all in this together. What, is, sure. what does it mean for doing this? About, because you guys have raised like almost a million and a half dollars for charity over the over nearly the last half century of this. Absolutely. I mean, we certainly have a deep-seated rivalry with law enforcement, but we have the pleasure of working in the streets with those guys, and we have a mutual respect for one another. But as you said, this is all about charity, so and a great community event. All right, we're going to walk over here to Chris uh, Vestal, who is with Sac Metro Fire right now. What do you think of the chances of the team this year? How are they looking? They're looking pretty good, and uh, you know, our slogan for this is that there are no losers. However, I think there can only be one victorious team, and we know that's going to be the Fire Dogs this year. Well, yeah, okay. because yeah, they have to have a loser, right? I mean, there's not, going to be, there's not going to be a tie. That's exactly true, but we are going to donate some money to charities. We have a uh, Make-A-Wish kid recipient this year, so there will be some fun surprises for him on Saturday. And that's the first time you've done this, right? That's correct, yeah. So first time that that will happen, uh, some surprises with him. Uh, he gets to meet some of the teammates and... Uh, some of the other things on field during the game as well that we're waiting to surprise them with. All right, so why don't you give us the details if people want to get tickets. Game time is at uh, 1 o'clock Saturday. Game time is 1 o'clock Saturday at Hornet Stadium at Sac State. Tickets are 10 bucks. Uh, starting at 11 o'clock, we're having a safety fair, and lots of different agencies will have different booths, recruiting. So if you want a job in public safety, fire, or law enforcement, please come out, get the information, and it's going to be a fun family day for everybody. You think these guys are psyched up enough on the field? Do we need to have a little more action out here? Maybe it needs to be a little louder there. It's a little, it's a little early. So. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> these guys are up late running calls all night, so that's the dedication these guys do. They work yeah. all night, then they come to work. I know, and we should point out that they come out here, and this is all volunteer, all on their time too. I mean, they've been trading shifts to come out here, guys, practicing three, four, five days a week. So get your tickets. There's some still available, and uh, good luck, guys. There you go. Next year, <laughs> next year maybe if you need somebody. Okay. All hey. right. <laughs> Padding included. All right. Dan. We'll toss it back to you in the studio. Hey, Dan, how old are these guys? Because I played football like a century ago, and this <laughs> seems like it would be impossible now these days to do this. The, the youngest guy is 22. The oldest guy is, how old would you say, 40-something? 42, which isn't really old, but when you play sports sure and you've been knocked yeah, around like he has for you know 13 or 14 years playing around this, yeah. that that you know I mean it, it takes its toll. But these guys want to come out here not only just for the charity part, but because they enjoy it and they have fun. I mean, take a look at that. You got everybody out there, all sizes and shapes and ages out there. Yeah, that's really cool, Dan. Thank you very much.